the eyes have to match, the hair patterns have to match, the animals got to look alive. That's the best compliment. From the back room of his cluttered shop, sandwiched between a vet's office and a dog groomer off State Highway 71 in the township of Wall, New Jersey, 69-year-old Richard Santamoro taxidermies animals. God, I don't know. Um, thousands, I would imagine. It's a porcupine. Nearly 50 years ago, Beaver. Richard paid a friend to mount a deer for him. The finished product led him to pass that buck straight into the trash and fill his then garage with the chemicals necessary to master this craft himself. When I started in this, we were using arsenic. This was a black trade. Nobody would tell anybody anything. The internet, stricter permitting, and less toxic tools transformed taxidermy into a slightly more mainstream line of work and allowed Richard to hone his skills on seemingly every member of the animal kingdom. If I haven't mounted it, I've, I've seen it or held it. Bull moose, coyote, black buck, peacock, pronghorn, hippo, elephant, leopard, crocodile. If you can name an animal in 48 years, Richard's probably mounted it. I haven't had any protected mammals that swim, like uh, whales, porpoises, dolphins. But Richard has brightened a crocodile's smile, taken pride in many a peacock, and commemorated the lives of cats in more than nine different sizes. Bobcat. And I was winding up with freezer after freezer filled with animals. And so Richard started his own collection, more than 500 critters in growing, and now offers his menagerie out to rent. All the TV channels, uh, movies, Will Smith, I am legend, so on and so forth. And uh, weddings, we do a lot of weddings. If you want Richard's Grizzly to bear witness to your nuptials, it'll cost you $550. I just hooked up with a guy who's got a, a life-size elephant, which I've had a problem trying to get. Maintaining this lifeless zoo for lease requires little of the fox's slyness. A can of Raid works fine. We have to bomb the shop every so many days. So in this silent and pest controlled enclosure, Richard logs 12 hour days among the dead, striving to transform the next carcass into something more lifelike than the last. So if you like what you do, you, it's not a job, it's an experience. In Wall, New Jersey, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.